Good morning my dear students. Welcome back. How have you been these days? I hope you all are enjoying spending luxurious time with your family members, learning a lot and doing your homework sincerely, isn't it? Well, I'm back again with my second chapter and my latest video. Staying at home is really very necessary nowadays. So don't you think to get out of your home because it is very important for you to stay at home and follow all the rules given by government. Now, I'm going to start with my second chapter. But before that, I want to tell you something. Wonderful, faithful, beautiful, strong, white, poisonous, dangerous and adorable. Any, any guesses? Think over it. These words reflect the inner and outer beauty of the animals. As you know, animals are very precious gift of God given to us on this mother earth. We cannot live without animals and we cannot even imagine our life without animals because they serve us in our day-to-day -day life. They are our best companions. They are really loyal, very beautiful and they are very close to our heart. Can you name one? Yes, it's a dog. You can have different types of animals inside your mind which are very loyal and which are close to your heart. Okay, now the term animal. What do you mean by animal? These are the major group of living organisms classified in the kingdom Animalia. And the kingdom Animalia includes insects, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, fish, etc. They all are having specialized sense organs. Very specialized sense organs for their own body, for their growth, for their survival. For example, we are humans. We are also having special sense organs. Do you know now? We have five sense organs. So humans are also an example of animals in this world. In fact, humans are the smartest animal on this planet Earth. We can't imagine our life without animals. Animals are equally important to us, just like humans or plants. Okay, now I'll show you something. Animals are the only creatures that brings happiness to each one of us and reduces our stress level. Animals are our best companion and our best friends, just like both. I just love animals and what about you? Now zoom in. Look at the pictures carefully. What did you observe in all the pictures? What did you observe in all the pictures? You must have observed that the little one is exactly looks like his elder one. They are identical in nature. They all are same just like their parent. Isn't it so? You know why? Well, this is all about our new chapter, Reproduction in Animals. Before proceeding further in this chapter, we must be aware of their categories or their different groups or their different parts. Generally, we are having two different types of animals which we see around, which we are aware about, which we can uh, see inside the zoo or in the forest or around our home or around our locality. Have a look on this. I'm talking about two different types, okay? Domestic animals and wild animals. They both are different, really very different from each one of them. So domestic animals, they are generally known as pet animals. And wild animals, they are just very different. They are wild. They are uncontrollable. We can't control them. Domestic animals, you can see this cow, dog, ox, parrot, cat, buffalo, donkey and so on. Wild animals, you can see leopard, bear, fox, wolf, elephant, jackal, giraffe, gorilla and so on. Okay, but 
certain features and certain characteristics are there which i'll tell you in this chapter about wild and pet animals okay one by one we'll look at it wild animals they live in the wild i mean to say they live inside the forest or maybe in the zoo without human support what exactly i mean to say that they are not introduced to the humans ever before they are living in the forest and no humans are there to tell them what you have to do what you have to eat like this and that but on the other hand pet animals they are raised by humans by birth only uh, actually not by birth or maybe after some time they adopt them and uh, they just raise them and they are totally dependent on humans for their care for their food for their shelter wild animals they are disobedient this is the real fact they are disobedient and pet animals they are loyal and adorable wild animals are just uncontrollable we can't control any wild animals but we have proper and good control over pet animals we can't domesticate a wild animal but except some cases for example if uh, now you will say ki why loins we can domesticate loins but that's not true domesticating a loin will not make it a pet animal it will be a wild animal as ever before you know in some uh, states of us they are uh, allowed to domesticate lions giant panda crocodiles sharks and uh, snakes etc etc but uh, in india we are not supposed to do like this dangerous animals we can't afford them we are not authorized it's not legal in india to have lion leopard not supposed to have them at our home so otherwise government will have a penalty or they'll fine against you if you will have a pet animal just like as a lion leopard or a peacock okay so wild animals humans do not provide shelter care and food for wild animals they manage on their own this is true they manage really on their own we are not going to give them any food or shelter because uh, they are living in forest so they know how to live but pet animals they are totally dependent on humans humans are responsible for pets health and take proper care during sickness yes humans are responsible and uh, you know that uh, some of the pet animals are really very intelligent just like horses and dogs they are trained to that much skill that they are even involved in some kind of investigation cases you know you must have seen in your televisions also that uh, dogs are often used for investigating the cases as they can recognize the smell of a particular person or a per person by face or by their body odor so dogs are really very loyal and they are intelligent too we are having different different kind of breeds which are used by army officials or by your police departments or by doctors or by any of the departments related to uh, investigation or cbi or intelligence bureau okay now the wild animals uh, as i have told you before also uh, examples uh, lion wolf shark zebra gorilla walrus leopard and giant panda these all are the examples of wild and now pet cat dog cow goat sheep parrot chickens camels etc these all are the examples of pet animals they are really really very innocent so that was all about wild and pet animals you know kids we have wide variety of animals and their species around us and animals they do provide us food yes they are our greatest source of food we get different different types of food from animals from different kind of animals okay we'll discuss about each one of them for example your hen hen gives us eggs plus meat also okay uh you know eggs are really very essential for our body's growth as they provide us proteins and meat it also provide us proteins plus your minerals and different kind of nutrients second one cow cow it gives us milk meat butter cheese they all are dairy products cuz these all products are made from milk only so they are dairy products now goat it provides us milk meat cheese etc which is essential for our body's growth as they are in form of nutrients and uh, fish it provides us fish fish eggs and oil also which is essential if we are having knee pain so 
fish oil we can use over it we can apply over it and we can uh, just relax with the our pain now bees it provides us honey you know uh, beehive it gives us honey and wax honey for eating purpose and for uh, good skin and wax for making candles and all and silkworm provides us silk which you know no silk saris your mother used to wear silk saris we use in that kind of purpose silk dupattas or silk saris and she provides us wool woolen clothes you know woolen clothes we used to wear in winter seasons so she gives us wool out of which we make woolen clothes for example you wear in your uh, school your blazers your coat your sweaters your woolen socks etc etc animals also provide us leather we can have different wide variety of leathers just like sling bags hanging bags shoes your leather jackets you must have seen your home also your dad must be wearing a leather jacket your mom must be having a leather purse you must be having a leather shoes right animals they also provide us medicines different animals or their fats or the different body organs have been used for making medicines for humans for their betterment animals also helps in agriculture and they are the means of transportation from one place to another and they also ensures our safety kids you know na during agriculture we need to plow our fields so cow oxen and buffaloes they are very much required for these kind of plowing up the field and uh, for transportation they take uh, crops from one place to another so they just uh, help in our country's economy also and they provides us safety for example your dog dog is very loyal no one is loyal as a dog uh, whenever some invader used to invade inside your house your dog used to stop them outside the door only so these all the things we get from animals which is very essential for our life and we should be thankful to our animals cuz they are providing us with most of the wide variety and with most of the essential nutrients for our body and for our life so students this was all about today's class and in our next video i'll tell you about reproduction in animals i'll tell you about reproduction in animals focus on this so that means you have to read your chapter properly okay now till then this will be your homework so your homework will be write the name of their young ones animals and the baby you will write the name of their young ones cat tiger bird cow deer bee dog and horse okay you will search it out you will find it properly and you will make a proper chart you will write all the animals name and you will pen down their baby name this will be your homework for today i hope you all have understood this topic very well and don't you forget to do your homework cuz i'll be checking it out okay and soon i'll be taking your feedback related to this chapter till then stay tuned like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to comment if you are having any kind of problem and happy learning stay home be safe bye